What's good, YouTube? It's your favorite old head, old head Uncle Twin, Jerry's Twin, and we back with another video. And today, man, I'm finna give y'all the best inside center build on NBA 2K22 current gen. This is for current gen, the best inside center build. Hey, but before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, drop a sub on the channel right now. You see, we almost at 50K. Not gonna be able to do it without, without y'all boys' help. And if you clicked on the video, drop a like on the video right now. Let's try to get this video to an easy 500 likes. Easy 500 likes, hey. But we finna get right into it. Now, as far as the position, here we're going center on a position. Now, we're making this build here for, this is not gonna be primarily I would say a park build like this is not gonna be a build that you would probably see on the twos or the threes this is a build that you're gonna see you know on a fives court um you buy you're gonna see this build a lot you'll be able to use this build a lot in the rate and things like that or you may have to use it on the 1v1 court from time to time too because you can use it on the 1v1 court but this is what we're making you know making this build for so we're going center position handiness we're gonna go right on a jersey number, we're gonna we're gonna go number five, cause like I said, this is a build that you're gonna want to use at the five spot, not the three, not the two. And continue now. As far as our as far as our skill breakdown, so like I said, this is a build, an inside center build, not a shooting center build, not a popper, and it's not even like one of your comp uh, stage builds. You know, it's not gonna be a a 58 or a 57 center. So, of course there's a bunch of bunch of pie charts, you know, you can choose from uh depending. Of course they got um what is they got the, you know, the mostly I think the top one is like the mostly blue pie chart. So that's like your, you know, your Hall of Fame finishing. You know, we got the half blue, half red. You know, another one you got to choose from is the all red. And then you have the the more red than blue. And then the more blue than red. Now for this build, in order to make them the most dominant, we're actually gonna go with the half blue, half red pie chart. And the reason we're gonna go with this pie chart is because this is gonna give you the ability to have Hall of Fame defensive badges and Hall of Fame finishing badges off rip. If you choose one of these other pie charts like this one here, you you only get the Hall of Fame defense and rebound. You don't get the Hall of Fame finishing. And this one you get the Hall of Fame finishing, but not the Hall of Fame defense and rebounding. So we want the Hall of Fame on both on both categories. So we want the Hall of Fame badges on both. So we're gonna go with the one that's even, that's evenly split. This one, this one right here. Now, as far as as far as your physicals. It's pros and cons to all of these. Of course, you can go for, you know, for your more your more speed on this build. But like I said, this is an inside center build, so it's not gonna be the fastest build anyway. So I feel like the one that works the best is just going the even even pie chart. So you have, you know, your strength, your speed, vertical, and all of that on the build. Now, as far as our physicals, this is how this is how we're gonna do this here. We're gonna take our close shot up driving layup all the way up our driving dunk all the way up standing dunk we're gonna take that all the way up also and we're not gonna put anything on our on our post hook now we're gonna take our free throw all the way up on this bill so like i said for wreck you're gonna be down low banging you're gonna be getting some fouls some and one some posterizing dunks and it's gonna have you able to be able to knock down that free throw also uh, we'll come back to the playmaking, but here we're going to take our interior all the way up, our lateral quickness, our steel, we're going to max that out, our block, we're maxing that out also, and we're maxing our offensive and defensive rebounder. Okay, so now pass accuracy. We're taking our pass accuracy all the way up, and then we're going to use the rest of our badge points on... Um, on post control now you see we don't need perimeter defense you know you're not gonna be you know guarding perimeter on this bill um you see we got the high high defensive ratings you can knock down a free throw you got good pass accuracy so you can make them outlet passes you know you get get good passing and then of course we got our finishing it's not gonna be a bill that you're gonna be doing like post hooks and stuff like that on but you know you're gonna be able to back down drop step 
all those things down low, down low banging. So this is what the attributes are looking like. So you see we have, um, what is that? We have 20, one, one, and 20, 23 on the defense. Now, if we were to take down the post control, let's say if we did put up the defense, the max defense it'll give you is 20, 24, 24 in the defense. So if you want to get that extra badge, you can actually take take that down just to you where you get the 24, and then put the rest put the rest on post control. So you could do it. You could do it like that just to make sure you get that extra badge. Um, let's say if you didn't use post control, wouldn't recommend this. Or if you didn't use pass accuracy, and let's just say you put it on, you know, post hook. You know, you can get you can get a few more a few more finishing badges get it up to um what is that 26 um you may want to sacrifice let's say if you don't want if you don't want post control as far as like being able to back down to say if you only wanted to put it on pass accuracy you can take down your free throw a little bit if you want to if you want to sacrifice being able to hit hit your free throws and have your pass that accuracy to a 56 or you may want to take that down and use it on your you know on your post control so that's that's preference there um Depending on if you, like I said, if you want to have those extra, extra finishing, or if you want to have those extra, if you want to have the extra, you know, the extra playmaking. So just depending, depending on how you want to do it, those extra badges may mean a lot to you. It may not mean a lot to you. You know, I like to have the good, the good pass accuracy, just because you are going to be throwing those, throwing those outlets. Um, like I said, you may want to get those, those contact dunks in there also so 24 on the defense you can take that up to 26 um, like I said that's your preference put the rest on pass accuracy or post control depending on depending on how you how you're gonna wanna how you're gonna wake your bill but we'll do it like this to get the extra extra finishing now as far as our body type uh, we're gonna go built on our body type as far as our uh, as far as the height on this bill of course max height is 7'3 Lowest lowest height is six nine. For this bill, we're gonna go seven foot. Seven foot on this bill. So you're still gonna be able to compete with you know the six ten, six eleven. So then you can still compete with the seven ones, the seven twos you're gonna run into too. So seven foot is the height we wanna go with. We're gonna go max wingspan. That's weight, stop the jokes. Put our weight, put our weight back to 151, and then our wingspan, max wingspan. So what this is gonna, what this is gonna allow you to do on your wingspan, just in case you don't know, you're gonna be able to get your driving dunk with your plus fours. Your driving dunk is gonna be a 76. Your standing dunk, you're gonna have a 99 standing dunk. That's an 85 post hook. Uh, your free throw, that's gonna go up. So you're gonna have a 74 free throw. Pass accuracy is gonna be in the 60s. Your block is gonna be uh, 96, 94, 94 offensive, defensive, rebounding. That's that's at 99 with an 89 interior defense. So you're gonna be able to get all your contact dunk animations, um, your big man elite contact dunks. You're gonna be able to get your dunk packages like the Dwight Howard. You're gonna be able to get the Shaq dunk packages. And you know, you're gonna be able to dominate with those Hall of Fame defensive badges on both sides. So this is what we're going with going with here as far as our wingspan. And then as far as our takeover. Got the opposite of rim protection or glass takeover. We're gonna use glass takeover, you know, for build purposes here. And then it's gonna say you create a glass cleaning lockdown. Glass cleaning lockdown, it's the name of the bill. Um they got the Kimbe Matumbo, Clint Capella, Rudy Gobert. I feel like it's more like a Shaq build. Cause like I said, you got that Hall of Fame finishing, and you have Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame defense on this build. Now, if you want to go to test the build just to show you what those badges look like a little bit, then we'll max out, max out our attributes. But yeah, so like I said, Hall of Fame finishing and Hall of Fame defense and rebounding. So choosing your badges, you know, you got a lot, a lot you can choose from. You got your back down punisher, your fast twitch, mouse in the house, limitless takeoff. You got hook specialist, grace under pressure, post spin technician, posterizer, put back boss, rise up. You know, all these badges you can put on Hall of Fame. And of course your defense, 
you gonna have that Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame brick wall, your box. You can you can be a ball stripper down there, chase down artists. Probably won't use clamps that much, but you got your you can use your interceptor. Of course, Intimidator on Hall of Fame is a must-have. And then you have your rebound chaser, your post lockdown rim protector. So this build is gonna dominate on the inside. You see the badge count, 26 finishing. 24 defensive rebounding. You're gonna be able to bang down there and go hard. But hey, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. But y'all already know who it is. Your favorite old head, old head Uncle Twin, Jerry's Twin. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video. Hey, join the Discord too. Hey, if y'all need people to run with, join the Discord. The link is in the description. We got a good community. We got people that's playing next gen, current gen, rec, park, stage, the whole nine. But hey, y'all boys be easy. Hey, and don't forget to tell them. Stop the jokes.